As far as my cover went, no one outside the op could know I was an agent. That's why they were shipping me to Midnight Facility, a dark Oni secret hidden in the shadows of an asteroid belt. There are a number of penitentiaries throughout space whose reputations precede them, whose very names strike fear in the hearts of the state's enemies. This facility wasn't one of them. Midnight wasn't about reforming criminals, it was about making them disappear. On the ride up, I asked three times to verify the list of casualties. I played the video feeds from the ground over and over, just forcing myself to watch the slaughter, to accept the role I played in it. Not everyone was lost, thankfully. Bostwick, my friend and right hand in the rebellion, was among those who escaped. And that gave me hope. But I, I couldn't take any comfort as I watched my friends and followers die again and again. Come in. Hmm? We're about to land. Thank you. I looked out the window, but all I saw was a massive asteroid. Hard to believe that inside there was a secret prison with enough firepower to take down a Covenant fleet. As we entered through a hidden entrance on the underside of the rock, the sheer scale of the facility became apparent. Pulsing beacons led us into a dark tunnel. After what felt like an eternity, we made it to the hangar bay. Clear. Welcome to Midnight Facility. As soon as the doors opened, I rushed to get off the ship. One of the ODSTs was happily wiping blood off his boots, and all I wanted to do was get away. I found myself standing on the inside of the massive hangar. Walls a hundred meters high and totally empty, except for a series of lights guiding us towards two small doors. This was a desolate place. May I remind you, this op is fully blacked out, gentlemen. Yes, sir. Hey, Pharaoh, you're welcome. For what? For saving your ass out there. I don't even remember punching him. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, you shouldn't have done that! You have no idea! There were... I should have left you to die with those rats, you Marine! Crazy... Shut it down! Shut it down now! I guess I nailed him pretty good. Yes, sir. Hello, Commander Sankar. Welcome to Midnight. Captain Ryback is expecting you on 18. If you would proceed to the I need elevator, to go down to the cubes first. Commander... I decided to take a detour. There was someone I needed to see. To Captain Ryback. The AI seemed surprised, but I had the clearance. Yes. Please follow the waypoint to your destination. Blue pulsing lights guided me down a seemingly endless hallway lined with windowless cubes, each identical to the next. Aside from the subtle buzz of the lights, it was silent. I stopped at cube B349. He's not in a good way, Commander. Show me. The glass went from opaque to one-way transparency. Inside the cube, between a crude bunk and a small toilet, I saw him, sitting cross-legged on the floor, writing with a tiny, soft pen on real paper. He was deep in thought, mouthing syllables as he worked. The most hated man on Earth, the beloved symbol of protest to tens of thousands in the outer colonies, the brave journalist framed as a traitor. This was Benjamin Juro, or at least what had become of him. I'd promised my followers I would free him. But I wasn't going to. No one was. Oni had cast Ben to the very edge of their empire, and that's where he'd remain. I could barely look at him. Partly because, in a strange way, I considered him my friend. But mostly because I was the one who had put him there. I wasn't looking for forgiveness, though. I felt like I needed to pay, and I was hoping Ben would tear me to pieces. Go to two-way. I'm sorry. I, I, I'm sorry. I can't discuss the particulars right now, Counselor. I'm, I'm still editing. I... Ben. I didn't even see his head turn, but he was suddenly staring right at me. His eyes were impossibly sharp and locked on mine. This was not the Ben I remembered. This was someone else. 
I felt exposed, like I'd been caught. He stood up, slowly, and I froze. I wasn't at midnight anymore. I was in Ben's world, and I was an intruder. He walked right up to the glass, and he stopped. I'd wanted to confront what I'd done to Ben, give him a chance to eviscerate me with words. But now that he was right here in front of me, all I kept thinking was that the glass between us felt terrifyingly thin. Oh, you! Ben. I know. I knew it. Okay, just listen, Ben. I just wanted to tell you that I, um... You're alive! I... I'm sorry, I'm sorry. you're alive! I, uh... Oh, I knew you wouldn't go through with that suicide mission. I just uh, kept convincing myself over and over uh, this whole time. Even after I screwed everything up, I kept saying Pharaoh would find another way. He didn't know. He was happy to see me. I, I couldn't believe it. I guess I was, I was so busy punishing myself with guilt, I never stopped to consider the possibility that Ben would still believe in Pharaoh. <sighs> I didn't know what to say. Wait. What? Wait. Wait. You, you can't be here. Do you know what this place is, Pharaoh? You, you have to go. You have to go now. The, the, the AI, they monitor everything. And they'll already be looking for I you. I won't I... be here long, okay? Don't worry okay, about okay. that. Trust me. I just... I needed to... Of course. You know what you're doing, obviously. I wasn't thinking. I, I just... Oh, God, it's good to see you. Are you okay? I... Uh, I'm good. Um, how are you? I'm fine. I'm totally fine. I've, I've been writing, keeping busy. Is that blood on your bunk? What? Oh, yeah, yeah. What no, happened? No, 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 Is that from one of the guards? No, no, no. It's Is not that what they're like, doing no, to you here? That, that was all me. It was all me. It's, uh, I wasn't really pre prepared for this. You know, uh, solitary confinement. Uh, I'd, I'd read about it, but it's different in reality. Obviously. And, and I, I had a rough patch a couple of times. I, I lost control of my emotions. You, you know, it's a pretty standard psychological reaction. But no, no, that, that, uh, that was my fault. <sighs> there, there are safeguards now. Like, uh, if I get too worked up, they can play music to calm me down. If I really lose it, they turn on the gas and I just go to sleep. And it's, it's fine. Oh, it's, Ben. No, seriously, it looks bad. You're right. But that was a while ago. Look, see, see, my hands are all healed up. It's fine. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. What? Hold, hold, uh, hold up. Sh show me your compad. Ben, I... No, 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 no. Come on, come on. L let's not slip back into that. Let's just please show me your compad. I need to see the time. Okay. Uh... 7.43. Got it. Take it down. Okay, show me again. Don't talk. Just, just show me. 7.43. Thank you. Thank you. Whew. Okay. This is real. This is real. Got it. Okay. Okay, good. Sorry. It's this uh, trick I do to make sure I'm not dreaming. Uh, discontinuity of time is a classic tell, but, but the, the time didn't change. So I know this isn't a dream. <sighs> yes, I, I know. It's, 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 I know, I know. It sounds insane. But I, I don't have a clock, you know? That messes with your head. At first, if I was outside the cell, I knew it was a dream because they don't let me out in reality. But then, my dreams were in my cell too and it got confusing. Like, what's real, what's not? What's real and what's not. That's what Ben's whole story had been about. He'd fought decades of murky cover-ups to shed light on the atrocities our government had buried. Because he believed the public deserved the dignity of knowing the truth. And now buried in a hole at midnight, he'd been reduced to fighting for the most basic human truth. Ben no longer had the dignity of knowing if anything was real. Pharaoh. Yeah, Ben? Everybody knows I'm the bad guy, right? They still cheer for you, Ben. People all over the outer colonies, they want you freed. They want justice. No, they want. No, they no, want you no, out. No, no, I, I, I don't want that. What? No, I want. I, I want to help. See, I think if people hear this, here, listen. I want to read you what I've been working on. It's um, ben. it's my way of fixing everything. It's it's still rough, but um, 
It's a message of peace. And an apology. At the end, I'm gonna thank you personally. Oh, no, no don't, ben. don't worry, don't worry. I'm not gonna name you or anything. But you saved my life, Pharaoh. And not just in my apartment, either. The, the, the no, things, the things I didn't you know, save your life. I killed two innocent people. No, 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 no. You were just trying to protect me. You had no choice. If their blood is on anyone's hands, it's mine. I put you in that position. I put those agents they in that position. They weren't even gonna kill you, Ben. They were just gonna... This is Commander Michael Sullivan. <gasps> You are currently in violation of federal prison regulations. Run! Get out of here, Pharaoh! Now! Now! I, I, Please go! Now! Go! I, Step I, away from the glass uh, and report to my office immediately. What are you talking about? This is your last what warning. What are you talking about? What's happening? You no longer have clearance to speak with my prisoner, Agent Sankar. Agent Sankar? What? I'm sorry, Ben. What is? What is the? What is the? No! 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 Sh sh show me the time. Show me the time. Show me. Show me your compact. Show me the ben, time. Then I just wanted to back, oh, Commander. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. But you're, you're, you're my, you're my friend. <laughs> what? What you work, you work for O and I. Ben, I'm sorry. I just. I... <gasps> How could you do this? Calm down, Ben. <laughs> no, no, don't, <laughs> don't, Ben. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just. Every wanted... day. Every day I'm in here, I'm worried about you! I'm worried about Pharaoh! Oh, no. I, You're not even real! I'm sorry! Who are you? Ben, calm it down or we'll have to shut it down. Who, who are you? 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 Administering sedative. Don't! No! Glass. No, please oh, don't. No, Ben. <sighs> and then, silence. I made a beeline for Sullivan's office. Are you insane? Maya, have a seat. I prefer to stand. I insist. Or what? What are you gonna guess me to? Sedation <sighs> is an unfortunate measure we have to take when Ben's hurting himself. Before I got here, he was punching walls. Had no human contact for weeks. He developed a tick. Rubbing his head all day, every day, he rubbed it raw. Nearly took off half his scalp. But then I changed the protocols. Got him medical treatment. Brought in a rep from Justice. I even gave him writing implements to help pass the time. And you know what? Ben stopped hurting himself. No more gassing. Until today when you decided to show up and pay an unauthorized visit to a prisoner and jeopardize all my hard work, everything we've tried oh, to accomplish crack, here- Sully. Why are you here? We're prepping Ben as a potential PR asset, a video message for the Free Giro You're crowd. You're breaking him? So you can parade him around in one of your depraved stunts? If by parade him you mean resolve civil unrest, then yes. Wow. He wants to do it. You heard it. That's not the point. He's bled out, and you are still squeezing him. And besides, your little stunt, it's not going to play Listen, with the sympathizers. They're I just... respect your opinion, Commander. I really do. But when making their assessment on this case, the organization's best analysts apparently didn't feel the need to consult with you. Although, I'm sure the opinions of someone who's been relieving themselves in a swamp for the past five years would be very valuable. I'm going to go ahead and follow chain of command on this one. See, that's your problem right there. You're still in your glass tower in Boston. You don't have any idea what's happening on the ground. Look, I've heard the Pharaoh chatter. You're steering factions away from conflict. That's great. But unless your coalition of hugs can spontaneously end rebellion, we're gonna have to destroy some hearts and minds. By torturing an innocent like Ben, that's the answer? Ben forfeited his innocence when he tried to tear us down. Well, maybe we should be torn down. Spoken like a true traitor. Oh, save it, Sully. You marched Ben right into this life setting. No! I tried to warn him! I gave him every chance to back off! But he wouldn't listen. Glass planets have bad records? Real clear, Sully. You may get latitude out there in the shadows, but for those of us in our glass towers, it's not that easy. Pushback against our employer looks a little different when you have surveillance up your ass 24-7. We couldn't just let him air all of our dirty laundry. Then what? Positive change? Open dialogue? No, the public cannot digest real horror. 
Have you ever seen people tear each other to pieces to get on an evac ship? Yes, actually I have, up close. How about you? Well, I can't tell you how to sanitize a spaceport after a stampede, Ugh. but I am privy to all sorts of data that you are not. That perhaps if you understood, might keep you from turning your anecdotes into theories of everything. <laughs> if Ben's story had stopped trade for a month, everything would have collapsed. Financial as much as I hated to admit it, Sully was right. Panic is a very real monster. For as many lives as the Covenant had claimed, Panic had claimed just as many. But Ben had stumbled onto Oni's quiet cemetery of sacred sacrifices. And while terrifying the masses with the whole truth wasn't the answer, if you're Ben Jarreau, if you're any civilian, what other weapon do you have? But enough about me. I'm supposed to be here at midnight. When I call the Rear Admiral, how should I explain you sharing intel with one of the highest profile federal prisoners alive? Hmm. Nothing? Okay. Stay away from my prisoner. That's a warning. And you stay the hell away from me. That's a threat. I get to sleep at night, Maya. What about you? How are you sleeping? Commander Sullivan. Corporal? Commander Sankar. Captain Ryback is waiting for you. Good luck out there, Maya. And don't worry. This will all come back around for you. I promise. My blood was on fire. I had no idea how I was going to be able to handle this debrief. But that wasn't what I was walking into at all. Maya! Noah Ryback what? was one of the first Thank people I ever met at Oni. Man. He was one of my instructors in it's basic. Always looked out for me. I think I've been through enough for one day, so if we can just get this over with, I need to get the hell out of here and reestablish my cover. You're not here because of the Jiro mission. What? Noah, then why the hell am Please, I even here? Maya, sit down. Yesterday, we received some disturbing transmissions. Footage from several colonies in the region. I sat there and watched video clips of mass destruction on various planets, seismic events exploding infrastructure and buildings into the air, leveling cities in a matter of moments. We scrambled search and rescue as soon as possible, but it was total devastation. Yes? We don't know. Well, who's shooting? What are they shooting at? We don't know. Something about these events. They fry everything in the area. Whatever it was, Oni couldn't keep it under wraps for long. The force of it was jaw-dropping to witness, and the destruction was cataclysmic. So why am I here? You're being reassigned. We still need Pharaoh, but this is your new mission. We need you to go into one of these colonies and gather intel. Hopefully you can help us figure out what these things are. I asked him why they needed me to go get this data. They had more than enough scientists on the payroll. We've done everything we can to secure the sites of these attacks. So far we've secured four, but the fifth has fallen into NCA control. The new Colonial Alliance. Do you think they're involved? We don't know. But whatever did this, we can't risk it falling into their hands. We're trying to get control of the story, but rumors are kicking up all sorts of chaos on the colonies. The NCA appears to be making a power move. I'd brush shoulders with fringe NCA factions many times. And I wasn't keen on encountering them again. But still, why me? Why not just send in Spartans? We don't want to send in the cavalry until we know what's going on down there. We need someone on the ground. Someone the rebels will trust. Before I could begin to catch up on what was happening, Noah walked over and clasped an NCA pin on my lapel. What's this? It's one of our best. Say hello, Black Box. Hello, Black Box. <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't help myself. Awful. Are you kidding me? An AI... Orders came down from the top. This mission is of the utmost importance. We can't take any chances. Maya, I'm very much looking forward to our time together. I've heard lots of things about you. I'm not okay with this. Not okay with what? Being deployed on a high-risk operation that is well beyond your pre-established purview? Or is it the part about being partnered with a highly intelligent AI with the proven experience and expertise integral to the success of this mission? So I'm being micromanaged now? You don't have a choice, Maya. Wait, what about Ari? Isn't he under with the NCA? We've been trying to re-establish contact. He went black just after he relayed intel about the attacks. Wait, 
You knew these attacks were coming and you did nothing? Look, we didn't know anything, Maya. The intel came from an unreliable source. We've been working hard to verify Where when- Where did the intel come from? I can't tell you that, but let's just say someone who's burned us before. Is Ari- Ari may have been made, Maya. We're completely blind on the ground. We need to know what's going on in that camp. This assignment was bigger than me or the rebels. As we sorted out my escape narrative, a dark reality hit me. In all my other missions, I'd been dealing with people. Dangerous radicals, sure, but still just people. This was something different. Something massive and powerful. Whatever caused these events, whatever destroyed those colonies, all of humanity could be at risk. Okay. I'm in.